in the past, what we had was that um, they would say that they were just paying gang members to work or just paying gang members to do nothing. Well, we decided through the multi-sectoral approach along with LIU that that cannot be the case. So what we're going to do is that we have already started the first part of it, which was the community beautification concept. We're changing that now. So we're moving now into educating these young men. I know for a fact that in the past apprenticeship program, the more we educated those young men, the, m the more they became posit positive and productive citizens and wanted to work and wanted to go back to school. We'll literally be doing the apprenticeship program. So they'll be doing a step up program, which is about the level one or entry level to the IT vets. So that is what is actually going to take place. And then we will start working on building their capacity. We have a small fund uh, through the, the, the Commonwealth of Learning called and it's going to be specifically designed to work with those young men. And along with the University of Belize, we're also working on a family assessment because we need to know what is going on in those families. Nobody has done that. We don't have any data on what those young men and their family members live like. And we need to know that to be able to better serve them and be able to ensure that we continue to provide the appropriate type of programs for young people in this country.